Hello friends and channel subscribers, Greg, Greg here again from Brisbane, Australia with another video that is uncut, unedited and no bull. Today I would like to talk about apple cider vinegar. It's a wonder liquid and it has so many uses, so many benefits and yet it's overlooked. While we're here, I would like to thank everyone who supported my channel so far. If you like this video or any other videos on my channel, please hit that subscribe button, like the video and enable all notifications so you won't miss any of my uh, future releases. Also, this video comes as part of an uh, umbrella that I created called Trust Me, I'm Not a Doctor. I'm not here to diagnose any medical problems. I'm not here to... Um, suggest on any drugs <clears throat> i'm here to create a healthy lifestyle that help you to live happy long and without medication as long as possible so let's talk about apple cider vinegar we can see it in the shops we can see it in internet media everyone talking about it but what is so special apple cider vinegar first you know i think people are interested about the main reason why people consume it there is no main reason for this. It has different effects and all of them together are just phenomenal. The first effect it has on people is what we call weight loss, but it's not really direct weight loss. It's a weight loss through a couple of different triggers. The first trigger would be uh, the apple cider vinegar through different pathways stimulate fat burning. And second way, it's basically, it reduces fat storage through reducing blood sugar levels and avoiding insulin spikes where insulin stores excess energy as fat. So basically it fat burns and prevents fat storage. So weight loss actually comes not from a muscle reduction, from actually fat deposits in a human body, which is quite great. The second one is um, not that big in my books, but you know, some people put uh, quite big significance in this. I'm not a doctor. I don't believe high cholesterol is it's a problem, um, but there will be a separate video about cholesterols. But in studies, apple cider vinegar consumption show to lower overall cholesterol levels. Another huge one for me, and it's important for many people that I know, is uh, treating or use for treatment uh, for type 2 diabetes just remind that i i already created video that i put link down below about type 1 type 2 diabetes glucose and fructose um, but you know for now as as we talk about um fat storage and and apple cider vinegar vinegar would do exactly um opposite from um storing the fat because it would go to uh, blood sugar levels it will reduce them and it won't spike your insulin as much as it would if you eat carbohydrate diet so a couple of tablespoons before breakfast or, or sorry not breakfast but any meal um, or within the meal would prevent you from insulin spike and reduce fat storage and also help you with um, type, 2 type 2 diabetes or prevent um, get into um, stage of two type diabetes another interesting one it's still kind of um, um, not experimental but reported in a couple of different journals one of them is uh, health and medicines doctor uh, doctors there observe that uh, uh, application of apple cider vinegar reduced and cure yeast infections in women I don't want to go into details, but it's one of the uh, studies that um, uh, observed it and <clears throat> it was peer reviewed and observed by other studies as well. The big one for me, and um, it's quite a big issue, it actually treat acid reflux. Acid reflux or what people call it uh, heartburn, it's actually not coming from a heart. As we're aging, uh, the acid level or intensity reduces in human body and when it reduces our body is not processing uh, well uh, proteins so what it does when when apple cider vinegar consume the acidity level in um in in, in uh, digestive tract 
restored to level it should be and as a result it metabolizes food better as well as preventing heartburn so those are uh, health benefits of apple cider vinegar i can go on and on and on um, so what what we need to do next is basically find the ways it could be used it's not very tasty substance to consume not every single apple cider vinegar would create uh, that good effect so ne my next video i will discuss what types of apple cider vinegar are most beneficial for you and what healthy yet tasty drinks you can create so you get maximum health thank you so much for watching greg from brisbane until next video